if you are, a lot of times we'd like to uh, be able to at least, you know, just do a quick introduction, you know, your name, what you're looking to do in real estate, just a quick, you know, 30 seconds or so, um, just at least that way, make an intro here. Are there any new people on here? Yes. <laughs> okay. Hi, um, my name is Inu, and I'm new to Rochester. My family and I just moved here last September. Um, I'm looking to get into real estate. I'm a total newbie, so I am hoping to learn a lot. <laughs> Perfect. What kind of real estate are you looking to do, Inu? Um, so I'm still trying to decide. I really would like to do a lot of fix and flips just because I do like, you know, the whole process of taking something that looks completely horrible and making mm -hmm. it look beautiful. But I'm also interested in the rental aspect as well, just to kind of build that long-term investment. Okay, perfect. Well, you're on a perfect call for that in this group. Uh, once, once you understand the power of this group, you'll, you'll be very excited to be able to get connected. Okay. Thank so, you. All right. Perfect. Welcome to the call. Uh, anybody else? I know I think there's a couple of new people on here tonight. Yeah. Um, hi, I'm Jay Molis. I was on last month's meeting when you weren't there. Uh, oh, but uh, okay. that was my, my first meeting on this one last mm -hmm. month. So, um, but uh, I do uh, buy and hold real estate in the city of Rochester um, within the city limits. Mm -hmm. um, I have about 17 units now um, and I'm looking to continue growing so right now we're doing a bunch of renovations um you know and then we'll be uh then i'll be buying more properties after that that's great and it was james right jay jay, jay. jay. Oh, jay. i'm sorry oh, that's first okay day of my new first day of my new year sorry so <laughs> that's great you got 17 that's fantastic that's awesome and and uh well actually we're gonna do haves and wants in a couple of minutes here but but we're, i'm gonna i'm gonna we'll You'll be able to be able to put your information up on just in case anyone comes across up they'll bring it to you okay um anyone else there's me oh my name is tammy this is my first meeting i was originally referred to freya by dale grady i spoke to joe this afternoon who suggested i pop into this meeting uh, i'm looking to eventually get into renting uh owning properties to rent but I'm still at zero at the moment, starting from the ground up. Perfect. Well, I told you it was a good place to start. Okay. So you'll, you'll, do, you'll be able to get some good networking out of here. Um, and is there anybody else? I can't tell. I think um, we're good. James got more? There's there's a few names I don't recognize, but I think James <clears throat> might be the last they, one. Are they shy and bashful? They Sorry. That's all right. Um, by the way, the ones that speak up the most usually 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 do the most as far as for uh, deals. Um, basically, we do here real quick are haves and wants. Anyone got anything you want to sell, anything you want to buy, whatever heck it is there, let us know. If you don't speak up and you don't let us know, we're going to call the people who do speak up and let us know. They mean that very nicely when I say that. Um, uh, but I know like that, well, anybody put out there what you're looking for or what you, anyone have anything to sell? Nobody, nobody's looking for any properties. Oh, you mean just sell or we want to buy too? You just said just sell, sell, buy, whatever that it is there. There's somebody out there selling and there's somebody out there looking to buy. We so got to get everybody this, connected. If I get this backdrop for now, do I have to speak up and say anything anymore? Could this backdrop just say it all? <laughs> just kidding. I love that background, Gabe. You know, you well, got to get a t shirt. <laughs> well, I, I know that's the next step, dude. I know. But you know, since you got me talking, I might as well just uh, go into it. And uh, if you allow me, please, um, I'm looking for self storage um, anywhere, anywhere in the United States, um, 10,000 square feet and above, ideally. And um, or if it's like maybe eight, nine thousand square feet and like five acres, I'd like to uh, take a look as well. 
And um, again, yeah, anywhere in the United States, uh, it, it doesn't matter. It's cash flowing and we can, and the numbers work as always. Um, what we'd like to uh, take a look at it and take it down. Um, so anyone knows, not knows of anyone, knows anyone, there's a difference. So please, I'll put my name in the chat box and, um, and we'll take it down and take a look. So thank you so much. Appreciate it. Thank you. Perfect. Anyone else looking for anything? I know, Jay, if you want to speak up and let us know what kind of properties you look for, singles, doubles, let yeah. us know here. Okay. So um, I look for duplexes through quads. Um, you know, so most mm -hmm. most of my properties are duplexes because there's more duplexes around. Um, you know, but I have a I have some some triplexes now. Um and I can always use more. Um, as I mentioned, at the moment I'm doing, I'm shoving a bunch of money into into current properties, replacing windows, fixing them up, you know, getting some, you know, getting them nicer so that we can, you know, raise rents to uh, to the, to the new normal, which is wonderful. <laughs> so, you know, and then uh, you know, so once we're, uh, you know. Um, so once I'm done with the renovations and stuff, then, then I'll be ready to, to buy more properties. Um, if anybody has anything, want to do seller based financing deals, that type of stuff, I would be, you know, willing to buy if, uh, you know, um, you know, maybe purchase sooner because with seller based financing, we can work out other terms that, uh, you know, um, that the, the banks don't do. Um, plus I'm starting to run out of, I'm going to be at the end of my, properties I can buy with uh, conventional. So, um, so I'm going to have to start moving in, you know, and so seller based financing is definitely better than commercial based financing. So we'll, uh, you know, see where we are from there. Do you buy in certain areas, all areas? Um, most, yeah. So most of my houses are, um, if you take Dewey uh, all the way down, um, most of my properties are just west of Dewey, um, you know, some a couple of houses just away from Dewey and pretty much, uh, you know, but pretty much that's the, the main areas um, that most of my houses are. I do own a couple on the east side. Um, I do ha have one single family house that's, you know, over on Merchants. So that one's, a, you know, a, a nice house. So versus the, you know, the multis, which are yeah, in you know, in a little bit worse areas, so to speak. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, but yeah. Uh, you know, so I'm I'm willing to buy wherever you know, and I'm trying relatively in the city because um, mm -hmm. prices are usually decent for the for the houses, and uh, they're plentiful. Um, once you get out of the city, um, multifamilies are, you know, are very scarce. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When you, you say do... down on Dewey, do you mean towards the lake or towards the city? Mm -hmm. um up in the uh, more in the in the city so um i have two houses on glenwood a house on glendale you know um mm -hmm. house on villa house on murray house on ames um that whole area over there that, yeah that area so i think those are yep those are those ones yeah. and then i have a house over on leo um which is on the east side you know mm -hmm. and then uh you know, and then the house on merchants. So, you right. know. Well, at least that way we know because, um, you know, we're, everybody here is always getting stuff. So, and by the way, there is a chat box on there. Um, make sure everybody puts their information on there because if we don't know what you want and we get something, we don't know that you want it. So <laughs> I'm just letting people know. I've had people that, did you speak up? No, we're not mind readers. Don't be afraid. That's how come we do haves and wants. We're here to interact. I don't want to be talking all the time. Yeah, that anyone was else, anyone else well, looking by yourself? Well, that was a, let me just start interject. That was a great question on the part of the person who asked that because I was thinking, well, gee, he's talking about down towards the lake. And then um, my my perception of where he was looking and what he was looking for changed with just that one question that was answered by Jay. So, yep. and you know, because I don't have a lot of properties on Dewey down by the lake, but I got more than one or two in the areas he talked about that I was thinking about selling. 
Ah. Look at that, Jay. <laughs> Commission free. <laughs> no offense to any realtors that are on here right now. <laughs> Remember, Joe, Mary Jane is a realtor. I know. Your wife is a realtor. I know. Oh, man. I don't want to get in trouble. Don't get upset. She's a broker. Oh, so, God. Yeah. All right. <laughs> yeah. So, and, um, you guys exchange. Yeah, but... Um, um, I only have one property out of my roughly 10 or 12 that's not, that has a mortgage on it. The rest of them do not. So yeah, I could do almost any type of creative financing stuff. Yeah. So I have to give that some thought. CJ, you come to one of these meetings and you never know what's going to happen. Yeah. People oh. freeze. Oh, I don't know. Hopefully he put his information on there for you before he froze or something happened. Yeah, yeah, it seemed like we got yeah. a disconnect there. My, my internet dropped, so. <laughs> Perfect, yeah, make sure you guys connect, all right? Perfect. Anyone else looking to buy or sell, put it out there, let us know. I think Scott Spear is yeah. on and he, he, wants, he wants to buy something. Oh, I'll buy something. Let's see, I'm gonna, my bandwidth's really bad where I'm at. But uh, let's see here. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I want all self-storage deals. I want you to call Gabriel for them. Any self-storage deal you have, call Gabe. And I want a certain list from a certain somebody who hasn't produced yet, so. I'm I talked gonna... to him today. Hey, yeah, I, yeah. I, I gotta call you guys tonight. Got to yeah. do that okay. Not doing it right here. You, you call us tonight. So, all right. We're the gonna clock's ticking, that. Joe. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Don't tick forget. Tock, Monday, tick tock. By the way, tick Scott tock. Spear is the actual uh, we're co host of this call. Scott's the more important one. And uh, he's, he worries that his bandwidth isn't too good. So, but Scott and I do this together. And uh, uh, because I know obviously you didn't get a chance to even introduce yourself. So, just putting it out there. Yep. Perfect. And, and for those of you who don't know, Scott travels all over the country. He's actually he surprised us. He's back in town after a year and a half of selling off all his properties, buying a huge mansion on wheels and traveling all over the country for the last year and a half and buying, what are you, 12 storage facilities now? 14? Yeah, oh, he doesn't even know. He's got rich people problems. I don't know how much, I don't know how many I have. Yeah, how many rentals do you have, Joe? I don't know. See? I don't exactly know. Uh -huh. Well, Scott just got you back, Joe. I know. Got you right in the face. Yeah. <laughs> How's it feel? There you go. Oh, man. Right. Sounds, like, sounds like both of them are rich from doing real estate or something. That's what I was thinking. Group. We, we learned from the richest person on the Zoom right there, Joe. Leon. Yep, Leon Wire. <laughs> the bank of Leon and Joe. That's right. Yep, because of this group. Hey, I'm where I'm at because of this group, 100%. So, yep. so who else has got something they're looking to let us know they want to buy or sell? Please put it out there. I want everything. There you go. She wants world domination. Yes. <laughs> That's what you mine for everything. Yeah, as usual, I'm looking for properties I can rehab and flip. So any uh, one who has something that they're wholesaling or something that they want to sell, um, just give me a shout. And everybody knows me. I'm President of Freedom First. I'm, my information is on the website. You can find me easily. <laughs> well, I, I guess why we're at that, and Jay brought it up, but I was not a buyer for those. Um, when he brought up seller financing, I, that's what I buy seller financing. I buy whole notes or partials. And, uh, but I, I, the difference is I'll buy them pretty much any place in the country other than Chicago, Cleveland, New York City. But uh, yeah, I, I buy financing. Yeah, I buy seller financing. I buy bank originated notes and, uh, so if somebody has it, yeah, happy to work a deal. But doing a couple down in Georgia now. Um, 
we come back around, Joe, I'm going to have you explain that a little bit for the new people on the call. But yeah. um, I also have a, <clears throat> that means wands. I have a sale. I have a, uh, Gabriel and I have a piece of uh, approved for self storage to build on 2.78 acres in Tennessee, the hottest state in the country as far as real estate goes. Uh, fastest growing, I'm going to say, because everybody I talked to is moving there. Uh, but it's 2.78 acres, approved for self storage. Uh, you're probably going to be able to get about 40 to 44,000 square feet on there. Uh, I'm, I'm not a developer on that per se, but the simple numbers is we're looking for $180,000 for the piece of property. Uh, to build on it, you're looking about 1.6 million to build on it. Uh, you add the 200 for the land, so you're at 1.8 million. In two to three years, the facility uh, will be worth 2.8 million, just based on simple numbers. So anybody who's a developer, or if you know a developer who wants to develop self-storage in Tennessee, let me know. We'll hook them up, and if you hook us up with them, we'll pay a referral fee. Right, Gabe? Exactly. Yep. Cool. So if you want to make a million dollars in three years, let me know. Sign me up. So, uh, Scott, is it okay um, to ask uh, what general area in Tennessee? Yeah. Go ahead, uh, Gabe. If you know it, I'll let you talk about it. I, I believe it's in – oh, sorry, Scott. Sorry. Um, I believe it's in Churchill, Tennessee. I think it's an hour and a half or an hour, two hours away from Knox, Knoxville, is it, Scott? Is it uh, – so – North, east of Knoxville. So um, yeah, it's a growing demographic down there. Though I mean, it's it's a booming area, and uh, it's really it's really a nice piece of land. Though it's on the corner lot. I mean, it's it's pretty visible to traffic. So there's there's not there's not a lot of downside to it. So it's really good. Yeah, really. It's uh, 50 minutes from Bristol, Tennessee, and an uh, hour and a half from Knoxville, Tennessee. Um, and like you said, it's in Churchill, Tennessee. And if you know a developer, I'm able to stay on with an equity percentage. If someone else to buy it, I'll stay on as an equity partner on it. Shoot. That's mm -hmm. it. Perfect. Um, I know I'm looking for commercial, residential, and storage. I know get in line. Um, and uh, uh, I pretty much do wherever. Uh, for residential, pretty much here locally, but I will do some of the surrounding uh, counties and um, and rehabs. I buy, hold, fix, flip. I do it all. So if any, let me know. Um, anyone else? Um, this is Diane. I'm just looking. I have four units, and I'd like to buy another property to hold. So probably in Ontario County, though, which is where sure. I'm at. Whereabouts in Ontario County are, are you, Diane? Which were you looking? I'm in Bloomfield, so kind of near mm. Canandaigua, that area. Okay. Perfect. Make sure everyone puts their information in the chat box, please. <clears throat> Anyone else? Everybody's got their Christmas wish list. You know, Christmas is only about 23 Saturdays away. Is it really? It disturbs yes, it me. It is. So what's a real want for Christmas this year with real estate? We're only 23 weeks away from the end of the year. And who knows this? Of course, it's Joe. Why wouldn't it be? 23 Saturday. <laughs> oh, I better go wait in line at Walmart for uh for the sales as soon as, as, soon as this meeting's over. Joe, Joe you know what for Christmas? Christmas. <laughs> so all right. Um, I guess if we're all set with haves and wants. Um, I, I, Scott, you, oh, actually, Joe, you want to explain, I, I'll let Scott, um, ask yeah. Joe what, what, what he was thought, what he was talking about. Joe, for the newer people on here, I'd like, uh, for you to explain when you said you'll buy, uh, seller financing and stuff like that. We get it. We understand it. But for the newer people on here, tell them what you mean by seller financing and notes and stuff like that. So if they run into somebody, they know, hey, I'm gonna have this, I'm gonna have Joe McGuire give them a call. Sure. Uh, and no, it, it's a mortgage, right? It's a 
just like a just like a bank mortgage, it's a mortgage. Same thing. But on the seller finance side, instead of having a bank, it's a uh, it's the owner of the property that provides the financing. So in Leon and Jay's case, if he was to buy one of Leon's properties and uh, pick a number, I I don't care, 50. Uh, and Jay had some money, but Leon needed some more or want, wanted more, whatever, then I could, then I would buy part or all of the mortgage between uh, Leon and Jay, I would buy those payments and pay Leon up front and then Jay would pay me. And that could either be a whole note means the entire thing or a partial means some years, uh, five, 10 years. Some of them, uh, like the one I'm doing in Georgia, it's, yeah, the town's a little smaller than I would like, but I'm buying 10 years of 20 left as a good performance. And there's a big, big balance behind me. So the seller of the mortgage is going to make sure that I get paid because if I'm not paid, then I foreclose the property and the seller of the mortgage loses that residual interest that they have. So I, I have I have the property as collateral and I have the um, seller of the mortgage to back it up because they're gonna be cut off if, if I foreclose. But I'm I'm just I'm buying the I'm buying the income stream. And I stand in the place of uh, in this case Leon, or if it's a bank mortgage, I just stand in the place of the bank. I'm a bank. It's that simple. Does that make any kind of sense? Yep. Yeah, it did to me. Does, does anybody have any questions on that? Any newer people don't don't feel like you're asking a dumb question because you're not. We we've all had these questions, and there's somebody else sitting there with that same question you're wondering about. My question is, Joe, are you you're not buying the first mortgage, you're buying after it's already been sold. At, the owner owns, has already has a mortgage. I'm buying, I'm, buying, I'm buying the first mortgage. If, if Leon sold it to Jay. And, and held I, the mortgage, Leon held it, right? And held the mortgage, then I'd be buying the mortgage from Leon. It's the first mortgage. But you wouldn't be financing directly. You wouldn't, someone wouldn't go out and buy a house and you just mm -hmm. finance the whole thing. Or do you do that? Uh, it depends on the transaction. Depend, I hate to use this word deal, but it, it depends upon the people, depends upon the deal. Okay. Uh, but usually it's a mortgage you're buying oh, someone who's already had made the payments. Usually it's usually it's a mortgage. Yes. Okay. It, it. it started years ago as actually discounted cash flows. Um, but uh, yeah, and actually if Yes, um, it, it's a mortgage. I buy the mortgage. And as far as lending it, you know, to simply say, well, I'll provide the funding to buy it. Uh, I have done that. I've done that quite a few times, but um, buying the note is, is uh, preferable. Got it. Everybody understand? Anyone have any questions on this? We'd like to keep this interactive. So please don't be afraid to ask questions. This is how we learn. Everybody's good? Hey, Joe, uh, do you have, do you have, uh, what are your requirements for the, for the notes? Uh, you mean to buy or to lend? Well, to, yeah. So if, let's say, just as a hypothetical, let's say I bought, Leon's properties. Um, what kind of terms are you in general looking for? I, I just, I have to buy whatever you guys create. Okay. What, what, whatever terms you guys create, one, once they're there, I can't change them. That, that's, the, that's what the note and mortgage is. 
Now, what those, what you create certainly affects the value of the property. Yeah, mm -hmm. or I'm sorry, the value of the note. If you create a, you know, a, 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 just to be abs absurd, if you create a, a 30 year mortgage with zero down and 1% interest, it's not worth a lot. Mm -hmm. uh, if it's a five year mortgage at 15%, it's worth more. That's another way of Joe saying he, there are situations where he would not buy. Oh, there's a lot of situations where Joe won't <laughs> buy. I know Joe very well. So uh, yeah, he's pretty um, uh, thorough. Let's you use that word when it comes to uh, checking out a property and whether he wants to buy it or not. Yeah, you, you have to do the, um, you, you know, the same thing as, as, as the real estate. You have to investigate, you have to investigate the paper. What's the, in addition to the real estate, you have to know the paper. You have to know what the collateral is, is it worth it? And then what is the paper like? And, and does it come together? And, you know, uh, it's kind of that simple. And as Joe said, as Joe, Joe turns down more deals than he accepts, I turn down more deals than I accept. Mm -hmm. Yep. Everybody okay with their questions? I guess so. Um, we, you know, we kind of, we like, to, we, we always have things we can talk about, but we like to also keep this interactive. And I know there's people on there. So if you have questions about anything that you're looking for or any, anything in regards to real estate, don't be afraid to ask. You know, uh, we do our best to answer our questions. Don't take what we say as gospel. You know, and I guess I forgot to say in the beginning, always consult with your attorney and your accountant. You can't forget to say that. And your significant <laughs> other. Because if you oh, yeah, that you'd too. probably be dead. I, I want to go back to Joe's prior statement, though, going along with turning him down. I, I, actually, Joe had someone sent me a deal. It was on a sign. And, and I was going to say, even if I don't do the deal, I'm happy to look at transactions and give, give you ideas as to what might work or what's not going to work. Uh, you know, someone who might buy it, someone who says, just, you know, I like notes. I'm happy to talk about notes. Uh, but I, I was referred to a deal on a, a sign, a, a road advertising sign. And I went around, I talked to the seller quite a few times and we, we agreed, I had a structure, a, a unique purchase. Uh, and I, I had to use a, a different software program. I used, a, a, for what it's worth, I used T-Value and I did split funding on it. And doing the split funding, I was able to get her what she needed. Um, so that was great. You know, I was happy. Unfortunately, the deal didn't close because when the pick, when she sent over some of the paperwork, I said, there is no lease here. This was a lease deal, wasn't it? It was a lease deal. I said, oh, was that the one out? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. I said, there is no, no, it's a 30 day cancel lease. They walk away. There is no, well, there's uh. risk. There's always a risk. I said, yeah, there's always a risk, but I'm not going to pay 15 years for, you know, for 30 days. Mm. And, uh, God. But yeah, but uh, but I'm happy. I mean, she was a very nice lady, and I was. I'm happy. I'm happy to see what I can do for somebody. So I remember you went above and beyond for her, way above and beyond. Yeah, I remember that. So. Well, it was fun. It was fun. It was, it was fun coming up with the split funding for it, and you know, finding a way to make it work for her. And and by the way, what Joe means by a sign, she was actually we're talking about a billboard sign that he was going to be doing the note on. Not a house, the billboard itself. So yeah, anything, it's it's so crazy the transactions you can do. <laughs> you know, people just so at least that way people don't realize it's not just properties. And that was a very unique situation. But um 
Anyone else have any other questions that they'd like to ask or go over? Please don't be afraid to ask, especially if you're new. Put it out there. Don't be shy or bashful. Actually, Joe, I have a question. Excuse uh, me one second. This thing's been ringing, so I have to go get it. No problem. Go ahead, Gabe. Well, now that Joe McGuire is off, I'm going to wait because I was directed towards him. So never mind for a minute, I guess. <laughs> oh. Oops. We'll, we'll come back when he, come, when he comes back. Okay. Who else wants to ask a question? There's a lot of shy people on here today. What's that picture behind you? What is that of? It's a, uh, I don't know. It's a, it's a picture of exactly. <laughs> So, all right, so what I'm gonna do is actually, cause I know we're gonna wait for Joe over here. Um, there's some things I wanted to go over in regards to what's going on with the market, okay? And by the way, uh, feel free to interject because I don't wanna keep talking all the time. This is made so we can all learn off of each other, okay? Um, so Everybody has been concerned in regards to what's going on with the market. Yes, the market is switching. Um, there's been all kinds of changes going on and it's becoming more and more prolific. A few months ago, you know, people were like, okay, things are starting to happen. You gotta be careful, you know, prices are starting or whatever. Um, so I got some statistics, which was, uh, which was actually pretty eye-opening to me. But, and by the way, it's, uh, I'm not, I'm not a doom and gloom type person, okay? The reason why I like to keep up on all these numbers is because, you know, I, I need to know where, where I need to be with my numbers, okay? Now, not everybody here has the exact same real estate plan as I do. What works for me may not work for you and vice versa, okay? Um, but one of the things about, you know, that's really great about this group and, uh, you know, is that we can actually stay informed and work with each other and, you know, and see exactly what's going on. Rochester traditionally hasn't always taken as big of a hit in regards to, you know, in regards to a lot of the other big cities, which is great. Um, at the same time, it's good to at least stay and, you know, at least see and know what's going on. Okay. Um, I actually wrote these down and just so that way we know, okay. Compared to a year ago, um, they were talking about mortgage applications. Compared to a year ago, this is from last month, um, because interest rates have already doubled. Mortgage applications for people wanting, you know, basically wanting to buy a house has gone down by 52% from one year ago. Okay, that's number one. Um, mortgage refis on existing mortgages from a year ago, down 75%, okay? From one year ago, from last June, June, 2021 till June, 2022, okay? And the last number, no cash out refis are down 93%, okay? So uh, the reason why I'm intrigued by those numbers is because we all know, we already see what's happening, we already know what's going, what's going on with the market, okay? And, and by the way, just so that way you people know, uh, uh, mortgage brokers or, or you know, uh, bankers, whatever, 80% of their business are refis, okay? 80%, I didn't know that. So they're, def they're definitely starting to feel the pinch. What is that gonna do for us, okay? Um, right now, I, you know, like Joe was talking about, and I wanna hear from some of the other people, I'm saying no way more than I'm saying yes, because I know the prices are gonna keep dropping, okay? Um, there's been deals that I've been looking at and some of the sellers that I've been dealing with, um, you know, I have a saying, T and C will change people's minds, that's time and circumstances. Some of these people I've been talking to are holding out and T and C or time and circumstances are going to punch them in the mouth. Okay. Do I want to see that happen to them? No. Okay. At the same time, you know, prices are dropping and, 
you know, it's, it's, a, it's a good time to start being patient. And for some of the people I'm talking to, they, you know, they, they need to find a property. They want to find a property. And, and some of the stuff that they're calling me about and that they're going over the numbers, I'm like, man, if they could just wait. And the problem is, is that they don't have the patience. Now, who else on this call has been looking at stuff and it's just been, and it's just like, no, I'm not, I'm not going to pull the trigger on this property. Who else has gone through that? Because we want to hear from you also. Yeah. Well, I've, I've looked at stuff that, you know, um, you know, I mean, I do, you know, uh, you know, some of my places are, we'll call them bump and dent properties. Um, you know, so there are some that I've looked at that are so, that are so bump and dent <laughs> or dented that, uh, you know, the numbers, yeah, the numbers definitely don't work. And, the you know, I got a, uh, you know, a house that, you know, um, that I looked at that the, the seller wants, you know, um, probably about four times what it's worth, you know, and it's like, okay, uh, you know, it's, it, it needs a full reno. I mean, complete, 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 like tear the walls down, yeah, you yeah. know, and it's like, you know, but people are, people want to hold on to those big prices and stuff. So yeah. some, some of them are living back in, uh, in uh, the uh, right around 2021 or toward the end of 2021. Yep. Yeah. Uh, now, have you, Jay, have you gone like, like I've looked at properties and now they're starting to call me back and I'm not going back to my original price. Have you had that happen to you? Um, I have, uh, yeah, well, I have them there. They, they reach back out and say, okay, we're, we've come down to this now. We've, you know, the, the, we've, you know, so I have, uh, um, even though I'm a licensed realtor, um, Vanessa, I, I, so it's not, I use Vanessa as an in-between. Um, she's also a licensed realtor. Um, you know, so she, I have, you know, I have her negotiate with the people and, and keep contact with the different houses. Cause I'm expecting them, you know, to come down. Um, the one, the one in particular that was, you know, you know, selling for four times as much has lowered down to only three times as much now. And so we're waiting, you know, it'll, it'll come down. Um, it'll come down to a point that um, once I'm ready to pull the trigger, um, I'll pull the trigger on, on the price I want to offer. And if they take it, they take it. If they don't, then, you know, we haven't offered a, a final price, each, you know, um, just kind of thrown out a, you know, throwing a number out there and seeing where the, where the realtor goes, um, you know, but, um, but just as I know, the realtor may not always pass those numbers down to the seller either. Um, unless, unless, you know, a, a lot of realtors, because they, they don't make their money and unless it, it gets a high price. So, so sometimes it's not the seller, it's the realtor. That's the, that's the barrier. Um, you know, yeah. so, and, you know, and even though it's not ethical and it's against, it's against the law and it's, and it's everything else. Sometimes when you put an offer on a house, you know, um, through, through realtor, the, uh, um, the selling realtor does not always present the, the offer to, uh, um, to the seller, even though it's against the law, they can be fined, they can all kinds of stuff. It happens. It's hard to prove though. So, um, I've I've had that happen on on two houses. Um, we all know. have. We've all so had it's, it happen. You know. Yeah. Yeah. So, but but now I have now that I'm you know decided to get my license, I have uh, a little bit closer information on on that well, stuff. So, let me ask you a question: If you looked at properties and just said flat out, "No, I'm going to wait," and that's it, right? Yeah. Yeah. There. Yeah. Yeah, there are properties that are yeah, whether they're real estate agents or direct, doesn't matter. Yeah. 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 Okay. And yeah. Then, if, if the numbers don't work, they there's there's no reason to to buy it. No. Okay. You keep an eye on it and then follow up with it later. Um. It it depends. It depends. Mm -hmm. But usually, usually once I've said no, it's out of my mind, and I'm, you know, yeah. then we're looking at something else. You know. Okay. 
Okay. So there's got to be a good deal. If it's not a good deal, it's not, it's not worth it. So All right. perfect. Thank you. Thank you. Um, who else? Anyone else gone through that at all? I hope people are making offers on, on this call on this Zoom call over here. So we all know inventory is going to be going up. And you know, uh, some of the people I've been talking to, I just keep telling them be very patient. Um, what I've been noticing is, I mean, a few months ago, we noticed, and we talked about it on the zoom meeting that, you know, prices were going down. There was a lot more price reductions. I'm still seeing a lot more price reductions. And one of the things that, one of the things that I've been noticing is especially, and always the C and D areas get affected first, uh, when it, when it's stuff like this and it trickles down, but, um, I've been noticing that the prices now, instead of being so outrageous on the MLS, are starting to starting to go in, uh, you know, they're, they're starting to, sub to subside a little bit, you know. Um, uh, I have had people call me up about properties and, you know, and I asked them, I go, what do you think the ARV is after repair value is fixed up? And, you know, and, 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 and when they tell me the price, I know they're thinking back, you know, back, back before all this craziness started happening. And, uh, you know, we're just like for myself. Now, some people, they want to buy and hold. If it works for you, great. You know, for me, and when, when, it, when it comes to buying properties, my, my thing is that you make your money three ways. One, first, when you buy it, second, in the middle with the rent, three, in the back end, when you sell it. Okay. Not everybody has that, has, you know, it's called, they, they, you know, for them, they may just want to say, okay, I'm just going to buy and hold it and do whatever I got to do. And they're fine with that. I'm not, I need to know that if I need to get out of it, I can get the heck out of the house. So for me, I, I, I never, I, I even hate saying the word retail. I just want to be able to get it down. Okay. So to everybody out there, um, there's going to be stuff. There's, there's going to be more properties out there in the market. And some of us went through the, 07, 08, 09, all that stuff, you know, it's probably not going to be that bad. But, you know, I like to make sure that I'm prepared. What is, what is, what are some of the other people on this call doing? I can't be the only one doing this. Joe, I'd like to say something about it. Um, and, and I know it's kind of a shift from the residential, but mm -hmm. on the commercial side um, of storage, for example, I think, you know, and as we talked about yesterday, you and I, it's got, you know, kind of like how I think there's going to be a shift. And that's that's for people like us to double down and get more involved. And what I'm finding interesting in the past, I mean, I got two more leads today. And I got three leads in the past two days. So I have five leads total in, in like three days. I've had that many leads in such a short amount of time. So because people are starting to get scared and a little fear, uh, frightful of, of, sell, of uh, what's going on with the market. But. At the same time, though, I think now is the time also, and this is kind of my question towards Joe McGuire when he gets back, but, you know, now is the time to kind of, um, instead of the, the normal bank financing or, or cash deal, whatever, now is the time to get creative with owner financing and really sell it, you know? And um, the one guy today, he wanted to sell, like, he wanted to sell his property or wants to sell it. I think in a six cap or something like that. I'm like, you're nuts. You know, I told him, I told him, it's funny, you're nuts. It's not going to happen. So... I asked him, I said, but, but what about owner financing? He's like, well, I don't know. So I went through the whole spiel. I'm like, you know, and, and he's like, well, but some people get it. They said, because the interest rates are going up. I said, well, if the market's at, let, let's say, going to go up to 7%, I can do a owner finance at 20 year amortization at 4%. They're like, and they're like, oh, and I'm like, well, would you rather take 1% of the bank for all your cash or do 4% every month? They're like, you know what? You're right. So that's the thing what I'm trying to say to you is that, People are like, oh, my God, the market's going up. Oh, my God, we're going to crash. Well, hold the phone, guys. You know, now's the time we can get creative and do things. And mm -hmm. that's why I'm trying to sell why I find leads um, in my fortunate circumstances to find them. I try to push more and more um, seller financing on it because now is the time to get creative and, and, and make a deal. And mm -hmm. the numbers can actually work with the way the markets are going, too. So it's interesting how things are shifting in the paradigm shift. Absolutely. You can, you can get some of the best deals when markets start shifting. 
and people don't realize it. Don't get scared. You, I mean, there's going to be a lot of seal, a lot of a lot, a lot of sales going on out there. You know, a lot of discounted properties, and people are going to want to get out, and they're going to, you know, you're going to be their hero because people think, you know, because they're, you know, for them that property ends up becoming an anchor around their neck while they're trying to swim, and they may leave some equity on the table, but they're glad to do that because they know down the road, they'll be able to move on, you know? And, and just like just like Gabe was saying, yeah, you can do some creative owner financing, subject twos. Uh, there's all kinds of stuff that can be done, especially in this market, you know? And, you know, we don't know what's gonna happen. And it's not about doom and gloom. It's about basically saying, okay, the market's shifting, you know, where do you, you know, where do you have to be? Okay. Um, any questions so far on what we're going over? So I'd like to hear from some of the, some of the other people here also, especially some of the new people. No, but, but I actually, I'm going to agree with Gabe on the, mm -hmm. uh, on the seller financing. A absolutely. And there's a couple guys that I follow out in, mm -hmm. I think Arizona. So all they do, I mean, they, you and Joe should be good friends. The, uh, all they do is buy deals from a wholesalers. Mm -hmm. They buy from wholesalers, fix them up uh, a bit and sell them on terms. And uh, mm -hmm. they, they sell everything. You know, the, uh, and the, the, their point mm -hmm. is, and, and they're correct. I was thinking this when you said the, uh, the uh, mortgage applications are down. Mortgage air applications are down because people can't afford the financing and they can't afford mm -hmm. the term. They can't afford yep. the conventional finance. But on a seller finance, you can be a lot more flexible. You're using different underwriting and you know, um, mm -hmm. pe people can afford that. So your market is, an to, to an extent, your market is easier because your, your buyer doesn't have they can't go to 20 different places. They, you know, this is this is what there is. And you want a solid house. I'm not saying you're giving anybody a bad property by any means, mm -hmm. but it's uh, mm -hmm. uh, because there were companies that did that. Harbor in Ohio did that. They were famous for it. Uh, but, uh, you know, a, a solid, well, well done house that's fixed and with terms, mm -hmm. and yeah, the people are very happy because that's the financing they can get and they want a house, the American dream. Uh, so yeah, no, absolutely. And I, I, on Gabe's uh, commercial part is the, uh, one of the things for the seller finance, and of course is uh, I'm not a tax accountant, talk to your accountant, Chris, whoever, but it uh, defers your capital gains, spreads it out over time. Mm -hmm. So people, it, that doesn't apply on a on an owner occupied house. You know they're selling it. That, that doesn't apply, but on an investment property mm -hmm. and the on the rentals and on the commercial, yeah, it, it defer your capital gain. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's definitely a lot easier to sell with that. Plus, I came in if they, you know, that that is a great strategy to buy and just be able to get a good down payment and hold paper. That's all they do. They, they do a first and a second. Sell the first and collect on the second. Wow. So what's an average terms that, that would be going like right now? Would it be a certain percentage over what the banks are doing? Or um, No, you, you have to, to remember there, there aren't hard and fast rules or whatever. It's Kind of case by case and what what works. Uh, the bigger th the big thing is how much of a down payment. Everybody, you know, you want a down payment. Now they will take a much lower down payment than I will take. Uh, my experience and everybody's experience basically the minimum of ten percent. They will do less, but you want it. The better the down payment, the better the deal. Uh, and with and then then you structure the ones I have done I've structured I've structured the the uh, the terms to meet what the payment had to be 
you know, I can play with the, it, it, it's a, it's an equation. Where's Leanne? Is Leanne still here? It's an equation. You, you, uh, you have three, three unknown, three variables. You can, I think you can Leanne dropped off. so it doesn't matter so much the interest rate as it matters, like what the payment to make it all work. Right. Okay. Yep. What, what, what's the rate? What's, I'm sorry, what's the principal? What's the rate? What's the term? Mm -hmm. And uh, we make it work. Bill, so how far how far above uh, the regular interest rate do you do you like to go? Let's just say interest That's a nice rate round number. <laughs> what? I said ten is a nice round number. Oh. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> yeah. mm -hmm. uh, it de it depends, you know. Not prob. Pro when I buy, I want to buy it at 10. When I, if I'm selling the property, you know, eight, nine, it, it, it depends Above? on- Above? So no, 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 what the rate is. What, what, what the what, rate what, is. What the rate is, yeah. So if it's six now, you'd be doing eight or 10? Uh, well, if it's six now, yeah, you'd be, be doing closer to the 10, yeah, nine, 10. Okay. I don't know. I don't know what the current rate is. If it's if it's six, and yeah, you're going to be you can, something over the current rate. And you know, keep in mind that you have Dodd Frank, and and uh, Dodd Frank, I think, allows you to go like five or six over the uh, over the rate. It's uh, right now the rate average is like five point five. But the Fed's about to bump it by either three quarters of a point or a full point at the next uh, meeting, right. which is coming up shortly. So yeah. it's going to be it's interesting. So you know, and but, Joe, but that market is—they want to know what's what's the payment. They're they're more payment sensitive than rate sensitive. How right, long? Sir. How long would you hold the mortgage for, Joe? Usually, uh, I'm. I'm not going to do 30 years. Uh, I have agreed to 10 and I have agreed to five. Uh, I'm, I'm not 30 years because I can't even sell it for that much at 30 years. The, mm -hmm. uh, you know, the, the present value just isn't there, mm. but you know, um, you know, no. it, it typically would be 30 and then you sell then you sell it, you know, you season it for a while. Now that's not particularly what I do, but I know I know the formula to it is season it, you know, you season it and and sell it. It's a performing note and uh, you sell it off. And interest rates are not, interest is not gonna be uh, inflation is not gonna be six and seven percent for two or three years. So if you're picking up 9% for 30 or 25, you know, and I, okay. again, I'm not holding it for the, for the 30. If I hold it for, mm -hmm. for three, mm -hmm. then it's 27 that uh, somebody's holding it for. So tell people what seasoning means and how long is the minimum for it? Uh, seasoning means... <laughs> The, I mean, term, the, the, the length of time that that note has been there when you saw when you mm -hmm. sold the property how, how old is the note is it a green note closed yesterday uh the property closed yesterday it's a green note a seasoning you typically want everybody has their own definition i want 12 months some people call three months fully seasoned 12 uh, months of payments on time I'm sorry, on time, yes. Payments, All months on of on-time payments. Okay, yeah. Right, on-time payments, particularly the, the reperformers. Reperformers is, are a note that was not, that was defaulted mm -hmm. and they got it reperforming. They got the guy paying, person paying again. And they, they typically will call three, once they get three consecutive payments on time, they call it reperforming, seasoned, here you go. Uh, I like, 12 months on time. But, you know, it's the same thing as you, as a Jay's buyer or tenant, you know, it depends upon the note buyer, what, 
You know, what do they want? You know, so some people are happy at three months. Some people are happy to 5% yield. Joe wants 50% of the uh, value of the property. Some people are happy at 70. All right. By the way, anyone have any questions for Joe on what he's talking about? I do, Joe. Um, do you, would you ever consider lending on uh, self storage, Joe? Depending the on the uh, the people. I'm sorry. What's that? Depend depending on the people. Okay. All right. I'm going to be one of the people signing on it for this one. So that was my question. Thanks, Scott. <laughs> I'll reach out to you, Joe, but yeah, go ahead, Gabe. Okay, so that was my to be honest, it's not something I've ever done before. It would be an exception because of the people. Okay. All right, fair enough. That, that was my question to, to Joe, and so you guys, you already asked it, so thanks for reading my mind, Scott. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Next question is, would you do 100%? Absolutely, absolutely guaranteed not. <laughs> I kind of figured the answer is always no unless you ask. ask. There you go, Scott. I asked for you. No, it's okay. I knew. Uh, no, thanks. Um, so, Joe LaBibera, uh, your question, the shift in the market, is anybody else seeing that on their offers, right? That was your question? Okay. I'm going to put somebody on the hot seat, and she better step up. Brandy. Better not be I know me. You're doing deals. I know you're talking to people. I know you're Joe all the time, but what are you doing? What are you doing a little different to uh, with the shift of the market? I don't know. Well, <laughs> well you, you shifted to the subject twos. I did. I did. And then um, obviously, and then seller financing subject twos. I'm learning about that, so I'm trying to figure out different ways to get properties versus just wholesaling. Um, which is going to open up a lot more opportunities. So, and the marketing. what's that? And the marketing. Yes, yes. Yeah, that came out to yeah. Yep. So okay. So what's the subject to for the new people on here? Oh man, uh, taking over the mortgage, making payments. Um, so, yeah, that's pretty much it. <laughs> mm hmm. Okay. All right, thank you. Mm -hmm. See, I can do that, Joe can. I can call you off with Joe can. So it's okay. Yeah, you threw me on the spot over here. I'm trying to like relax over here and listen to you guys. Doing a good job of relaxing, apparently. Brandy. <laughs> I got a question for Brandy. Oh, geez, here we go. Hi, Brandy. Um, hi, hi, Carl. Elaborate, How are you? To elaborate on the subject too, so people understand when you take over the mortgage, you're not taking over the liability. Uh, you're just taking over the payments. That's a huge thing to think about because as a seller, they're so liable and you're not. And that's a big, you know, it, it's a tough sell for attorneys. My, so my question is, have you found an attorney willing to close subject to deals? Well, I'm, I'll be honest with you. I'm brand new with it. So this is a, the very beginning stages. Um, so I cannot answer you at this time. Um, but, um, I can get back to you once I've got things going. Um, so I'm just kind of venturing off into that space right now. Early on, it, it, it's a tough sell. So early on, it, I did a couple of subject twos. Um, essentially the sellers need to be desperate. And in my case, there were three properties that were desperate. Um, uh, all the other cases that was involved that, you know, the seller, the buyer attorney just, no, you can't do this. Uh, I'm sorry, the solar attorney, um, you know, he explains liability and, you know, you're out of control of this whole thing. Uh, but there are mechanisms by which you, they can minimize that risk. I don't won't get, get into them now, but uh, uh, there are some creative ways to, to minimize that risk for the seller. So, um, well, well, interesting. Carl, yeah. Carl, can I interrupt you for just a second? Um, you are hundred percent correct. What, one of the things that I, because, you know, I've taken over mortgage payments for people before. And one of the things that I preface it with, I go, listen, 
your attorney's going to hate this with a passion. Okay, he's going to hate its ever living guts. And here's what I can tell you my attorney is going to hate it even more. They're going to be like, why is your attorney going to hate it? I go, because I'm over here. I'm going to, I'm going to be making payments on your house. I'm going to be putting improvements on your house. And let's just say you decide to go on a spending spree and you decide to run up a five, 10, $15,000 um, credit card. Your car gets repo. Something happens. A lien goes up against the house. And let's just say I decide to put in the 10, 15, 20, $30,000 into your house. So I'm going to do to get it fixed up, make it all nice, nice. And when, and the reason why my attorney hates it is because if anything happens, I'm the one that's going to have to pay for it. So it is in my best interest to get everything done as fast as possible because it's my feet being held to the fire. So that's the way I preface it with them. And, and, I, and especially when I tell them their attorney, who do, and especially if your attorney doesn't do real estate, they're going to hate it because a lot of times, and it's okay, they don't understand it. I never bash the real estate agent, but I tell them that. And, and, and automatically that's just, oh, okay, Joe said that's what they were going to do. He hates it. Oh my God, Joe was right. And so, but I also let them know that my goal is to get that out of their name as fast as possible because the amount of money and work that's going to go into that property. Nice. It works. Oh, just so I understand, oh, just so I understand what you're doing is you're paying their mortgage, they still own it, and you just have a contract that when it's fixed and sold, you get it? Or you're buying it from them? Depending on the term. So yeah, I mean, if we, you know, do a five-year balloon, then we get them paid off in full within that five years or 10 years or whatever we agree upon. So yeah, we do take over their payments and- um, But you don't actually own it until- Yeah, the mortgage, the mortgage stays in their name. Um, so- Actually, do it. I don't think I actually own it at that point. Do I, Joe? I, I, I'm no, still no, learning it. So basically, I don't. Um, when you take it over, you're gonna, when you find someone, if you're taking over living for yourself, that's one thing. But the goal is basically to get it and then find a different buyer for it. And so let's just say it's a $200,000 mortgage on the house. And, you know, and let's just say they owe 100. And, 80,000 on it as a flipper there's no meat on there there's nothing available so you've got you find someone who can't qualify for a mortgage okay or has gone to the bank with his credit whatever whatever the issue is they need a house and all you're doing is say look you know you can you can take over the payments of this house but you have to make sure that they can actually do it and then what you can do is let's just say you do find somebody and you say all right you can this is going to be your house. We're going to give you two years to a year, two years, whatever the heck it is there to get your credit fixed and be able to get this thing refinanced out into your own name and to hold their feet to the fire. You say, okay, so $200,000 house, you have $180,000 mortgage. You're taking over with no money down. You ask that person to give you 10 to $15,000 down payment. Okay. So, and if they don't close within that time, you, you know, you, you keep it, they forfeit it. I mean, actually, Scott Spear should be talking about this also, because I know he was doing this. And uh, but on the subject, too, is your goal is to basically get someone in there. And then if you want, an, another avenue is if the mortgage payment is twelve hundred bucks a month, you can ask the people to give you ten thousand dollars down and you can charge them fifteen hundred bucks a month. They pay you. You take 1200 bucks, you pay the mortgage and you keep 300 for yourself. If you do that, if you do that over two years, that's uh, 3,600 bucks a month. That's 7,200 plus the 10, you've made 17,000 in change in a house that you never owned. So so Joe, Joe, uh, that's a complicated way of doing subject twos on a flipping wholesaling concept, but to keep it simple for Diane, yes, you transfer title. So we take subject to the property oh. on a buy hold. 
you, you yeah. do own the property. There is a transfer of title. So yes. you, so you own the property, but they still have the mortgage and you're paying for them. Correct. Oh, yeah. They have the liability. Yes. Um, yeah. Um, yeah. I'm sorry. I, I didn't I didn't hear that part of the question. I apologize. Okay. Yeah. No, I, I th thank you, Carl, because I, I was going to say at the end of this, my, my old school version was mm -hmm. the deed transferred. The deed transfers, the lien does not. It, it stays with the mm -hmm. um, original owner of the property, but the deed does transfer to you, Brandy. Um, thank you. But And what you're doing there is, is uh, on Joe's version, it seems like you could do that. Mm -hmm. And I've done something similar on long-term lease options where I did a sandwich lease on it to where I didn't have those issues. I was, uh, I was renting it and then I was leasing it out again uh, for your, but you, you could do that on the financing also, which is great for your penalty box buyer who can't uh, afford a property now or can't qualify, can afford it, can't qualify. Yeah. And the seller's motivation to hold the mortgage is they just can't sell the property? They want out of the, they, they need they need to well Joe can answer better than I can. No, I mean no. Go ahead, Joe. You know you know better than I do. You've done well no, no, no. There, there's a there's an urgent need as that that's what I was saying. Typically a, a, a seller willing to do that, there's some kind of emergency, there's some kind of immediate cure. In my case, uh there was a uh they, they had to get their name off property. I forgot what why, but they had to get off that property quickly and, and 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 that did it and i forgot the reasons for many years but that's been my experience yeah the, the the seller wants out of their property for whatever reason quickly they want out of the property it doesn't have to be quick they want out of the property enough it, it seems to me as in most of these deals the seller has to want out enough to uh to be willing to take the discount same yeah, example thing. is let's say they purchased another house and they still have this house and they can't sell it. They can't swing the mortgage payments. There's two ways, you know, there, there's a lot of ways to do it, but two, oh, two ways to do it is, is you, let's say you give them $10,000, you take title, you're going to give them $10,000 at the closing table. So they have this cash to go with. You're going to make the mortgage payments for them. Well, not for them, but you're going to make the mortgage payments to the bank. The bank doesn't care who the check comes from. You can only do this with big banks. You can't do it like if a local bank is a mortgage holder because there's a clause in all the mortgages that say that if owner ownership transfers, the mortgage mm -hmm. could be called. Yeah. In other words, you no have to pay down to the mortgage. Um, so that is a catch to the system. Um, in most cases, as long as they're getting a mortgage payment, they're not going to call it. Um, but you have to be ready just in case they do call it. Um, and there has been other cases I've heard of, I've never done it, where you're just taking on the mortgage payment. Really, you're kind of renting the house from them and making the mortgage payment for them, but you have to have that agreement with them that they aren't going to A, get foreclosed on and any equity in the house that you're paying down, you're going to get if something happens. That's a little trickier one. I would never do that. I would only, I've done two of them and on both of them, I took title of it. And then I made their mortgage payments for them. And uh, one I paid off in uh, two, while well, we sold it. So, you know, we, got paid, we paid off the mortgage in two years on that one. And on the other one, uh, well, we held that one for about five years, I held that one. And, um, you know, it was titled in my name. I was just making the mortgage payments to that person's mortgage. And then it worked out. It's Scott, just another have you tried the version to avoid the do on sale with uh, a trust? I know Steve doesn't like trust, but people and other a number of people have uh, moved them into a into a trust, and the bank doesn't know the uh, about the do on sale. Um, say that again. I didn't quite. I couldn't quite hear what you said about that. I was wondering if you have ever tr ever done the version where a number of people to avoid the due on sale or some people to avoid the due on sale will move the property to a trust. 
Oh. And uh, then the, in this case, Brandy, the new buyer, becomes the uh, beneficiary of the trust. So the bank is not aware of the, of the transfer of beneficial interest. Good approach. And it uh, also keeps the insurance happy. Right, yeah. But I, I, I know in this area, <laughs> I know a lot of people, you know, Steve does a lot of real estate and title companies are not fond of trusts. Uh, pretty much a lot of places, title companies are not fond of trusts. But, um, but they, they, can, they have been done and, you know, the sale is a little more complicated because you have to disclose a lot on the trust, but, which is what the people didn't want to do to begin with. Right. But if it's disclosed to the title company, then, you know, they can, um, they can get the insurance. The big hey, thing Scott. on trust is title insurance. Scott, I think real quick, um, I think there's a way that you can get past that due on sales clause. I think if the person was to pay a dollar and then you pay the rest, I think that keeps them in there. And then it, it, it kind of stops from that, um, hmm. from happening. I, I don't know. I have not heard that. Could be. So yeah, if they, at least they put something in, they're still kind of on it, but they're just paying a dollar, you know, what are they going to say? Oh, I don't know. Nothing. Why not just, why not just <laughs> right. send the check in the, in the seller's name? Why not just put their name on the check and send it? Can. Yeah, lots of ways to do it. That's the thing I love about this group and about real estate. There's lots of ways to do this. Like right now, Gabe's working on a couple of deals in self-storage. And one property, we're negotiating with a guy to own or finance it. And, well, the guy, uh, he, he said check back with him, I think it was, Gabe, right? Um, the guy wants a million, won a million dollars. We offered him 1.1 million with seller financing. Um, and then another one, a lady who kind of really wanted a ridiculous price for her property. But we pitched at her, okay, we'll pay that price, but you're going to own a finance that was 0% interest. And, you know, it's just getting creative and finding out what they want and what they need. And then just trying to meet that expectation and um, make the deal happen. They don't always work, that's for sure. But if we can get somebody that far, at least we're still negotiating. Hey, Gabe, did you ever find that person or get a hold of that person you wanted to get a hold of the lady i did and um i got one answer scott got a different answer so <laughs> who does she like better <laughs> i don't know i don't Dave, know for sure I, like Dave better. <laughs> I don't know she was i got different answers even before then too so um every time we got a different answers so at least at least she's still around and at least um, she's still going to do something. We just have to figure out what and when. <laughs> That's good. Yeah, it's a thorn in our side. But you know what the funny thing is that because it's so, such a pain in the neck that it makes me it, ma it makes me so much more motivated to like get this under contract because now I want it so badly now because you you basically stalled us for a year. I'm like, okay, now now we're coming after you now. So guess what? We're gonna get this under contract no matter what. I don't know. I just get I get like that sometimes, you know. <laughs> so okay. I'm gonna get it done. Scott and I are gonna do it. <laughs> All right. Cool. Um cool. What else we got? I got a question. If, if that question's answered, I do have a question. Okay. By a show of hands, if you had an existing list that you were working and you worked your way through the list and the list to you was dead. And somebody was gonna give you $2,000 a month to you and your two best friends was gonna give you $2,000 a month. You didn't have to do anything, nothing. And we're gonna send you $2,000 a month. Who would do that? Raise your hands. I would, okay. All right, okay, yeah. All right. Good. This is a trick question. <laughs> answer my question. Thank you very much. We're good. Good night, everybody. <laughs> okay. 
Scott, I and Gabe had that discussion last night. Or no, two nights ago. Right? Oh, no, it was yesterday. Oh, last night. It was yesterday, yep. Uh, yes, it was. Mm -hmm. Yes, you were reading. <laughs> and I know, I knew, if I pronounce your name right, she was coming on to raise her hand, too. I seen her come up. So. Yeah, I was going to say it's the cat. We could talk about it later, Joe. Don't worry. But yeah, two thousand dollars a month. You don't do anything. Yeah, because the list is dead to me doesn't mean it's a dead list. Yeah. yeah. Two thousand dollars a month. What am I going to do with that? Oh wow, really? That's a rich people <laughs> problem. There. Two thousand dollars a month. You don't know what to do with two thousand dollars a month. Buy more oh, property. Trip, oh, probably. Oh, change. Oh. Mm hmm. Make a mortgage payment. Hmm. Oh man. <laughs> What could I, I? I could I could fill up my RV. I I, 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 I feel the an ambush suck. coming. Uh, yeah, that's like a penny to Joe. I, oh, it's that. Oh, I know. <laughs> see, what, we're talking about we're talking about, about Joe, millions like, of dollars in real estate. Two thousand dollars a month. <laughs> I don't. What, come on, that's not even worth my time. I think is what he told me. So. No. <laughs> Yeah, two two thousand dollars a month. It's not even worth my time. What time? You're not doing anything. Oh my god, that is so funny. So are you going to pay Thank someone two thousand dollars a month? He has a, he actually has a chance to earn more than two thousand dollars a month. But if he would have done it based on last year's terms, he would have made two thousand dollars a month. He and his two best friends. So really six thousand dollars a month but he's denying his two friends without even asking them thousand two thousand dollars a two thousand for each, all of us that's three ways that's that's all no 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 you broke the numbers Please. down it was six thousand dollars a month is two thousand dollars each right gabe i, I second that yep yep i, I feel there. an ambush coming i feel an ambush mm -hmm. I, I, that conversation so <laughs> i agree yeah i was there joe remember me i'm gabe <laughs> I think I got amnesia. So Joe McGuire said it. It's a dead list, anyways. Oh, That's That's we have to figure this out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, clock's ticking. Told you so. Yeah, it's clock ticking. Price only goes up after the time after time no, expires. Oh no, the percentage goes down. You got till Monday. Remember, I gave you till Monday. Friday. Until Monday. Oh so man, percentage goes oh, down man. Monday. I use a calendar from Mars. So there's yeah. you know. all right. Well, for somebody who two thousand dollars a month doesn't make a difference to, I imagine you probably do use a calendar from Mars too. So oh my, God. I'm sorry. Okay, I've taken $2, up two thousand dollars a month is a lot of money. No, I is. sent you a direct message. What? <laughs> oh, huh? whoops! I forgot there's two Joes. I'm sorry, <laughs> uh, Joe McGuire. I apologize. Oh. I sent you a direct mm -hmm. message. That's good because Joel Babera won't check his direct messages in the, in, in the Zoom chat. <laughs> can't even read them. They're too That's small. what I mean. That's what I mean. Oh, I know you're not going to read them. I put my that. number on there. It's Joe buys my number. Call me. That's it. There you go. Yeah. All right, everybody. I know it's 8.30. We try to be respect everybody's time here. Okay. And uh, I'm going to go. I'm, we're going to let everybody go. I got to clean up my bruises from being ambushed. And uh, <laughs> I'm gonna hang, I can hang for about another 15 minutes. So if anybody has any other questions, I, yeah, I can hang. Um, okay, yeah, yeah, we're gonna hang out for a few extra minutes. If you have to go, yep. go, we understand. Yep. And so, if you have any questions like that, maybe, maybe, maybe if you hang out, you'll see Scott come over and kick me again or something. I don't know. <laughs> I think Joe froze. Oh, me? Oh, he's there you are. Oh, he's really no, I'm trying to answer this question, and basically the answer is going to be call me because I. Uh, uh, it's easier to talk than type. So, Lava Bear, when I come over and kick you in the butt, is it with or without a boot on? Remember yesterday's <laughs> conversation? Yeah, I remember that conversation we had yesterday. That's right. 6000 a month. <laughs> Uh, actually, I, I talked to the one guy. I got to talk to the other guy still. I had a half hour conversation with him today. Okay, clock's ticking. We're okay. <laughs> oh, <I'm fine. laughs> we're, we're okay. We're okay. Great Monday. It's okay. We got Monday to five thirty p.m. Yeah. Seven, cut off time. That's only seventy-two thousand dollars a year. 
Oh only. no. Only. Only. Only the average all? income for the American family in the United well, States. We're well, we're talking about millions upon millions of dollars in real estate. That you have your inbox for three months. <laughs> Again, going back, and, and, it's a dead X, list to you. It's a and, dead and, list. It has and, no value. And actually, I think it's somewhere between one to two thousand. <laughs> that 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 that's really gonna get them going, Joe. Well, yeah. Right now, right now, um, Gabe's head's about to explode. The just veins are popping out of his head. <laughs> yeah, just He's holding it one piece. <laughs> How much money have you generated in three months with that list? Oh. How much? Well, we got deal. I think it starts with this. I know. Hey, you know what do you want me to do? Don't worry. Oh my gosh. Percentage goes down list. Monday. Oh, he wants you to put some commas in there. Yeah, what about some commas? Two I commas. I don't know if I don't know if zeros really matter unless there's a number at the beginning <laughs> of it. I'm just saying you can have like zero 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 comma zero zero zero. It's still zero. <laughs> just throwing that out there. Yeah, but it's a lot of decimal points, Andy. It looks good. Good. We, we, we may have to have uh, 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 an equity portion thrown in, possibly. It is, it's an equity oh. position. Along, yeah. along the 30, list. 33%. 33% of everything. Joe, Joe's trying to negotiate over here. 33%. What am I going to do with 33%? Make money. What are you talking about? What's wrong with you? I love getting all of you riled up. I knew you guys. Joe, right you confront the money, and I'll take I'll take the, the mailbox food. money. You 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 front the cash up front, and I'll take the mailbox money, and we'll be good. It'll be fine. You don't oh need that extra God. money every month. You can just send it to me. It's that's all right. Yeah, it's so funny. Thirty three percent of of an equity position for doing nothing and getting two grand a month. That is not a good deal. <laughs> <laughs> For who, though? Oh, my God. You guys are killing me. He's over there playing Shark Tank. It ain't a good deal. What are you, what are you doing? Oh, my right. God. <laughs> right now. Hey, man, anybody have an accounting degree on this call? Is anybody with an accounting degree at all? I don't. Okay, who has a calculator? Gabe, you got one, right? Okay. Yeah, let's go. What's... 33% times zero. What does that equal? <laughs> oh. Always zero when you're multiplying by zero. Well, oh, you think so. No, that's the answer. So, oh, my God. That's the answer. Zero. Zero. So far, he has 33% of nothing. Oh, Don't worry. We're going to talk. I got he has talk. 100% of nothing. I got to talk. I got to talk to one more person. Yeah. Because wow. all three of us have to agree. Okay. And then from there, we'll be able to see what we got to do. I think we, we're going we're, we're gonna to figure something out. <laughs> I just love getting you guys riled up. Yeah. What's $72,000 <laughs> a year? <laughs> Please. It's only a uh, What do you think, fella? That's let, like let me ask my dog. Bucks. <laughs> all right. Okay. So does anybody have any questions? We've been having a good time here, but I'm willing to stick around and answer questions. Yeah, how can I get in on this deal? <laughs> <laughs> okay, call Gabriel. No, you're out. Yeah, yeah, yeah you're out. Oh, you're, out. You're, been booted. you're out. Call Gabriel. Gabriel will tell you how to get in on this deal. Oh, my God. Yep. Uh, you guys are yep. too funny. You got Scott, my number's in the chat box. You got Scott marketing for you. Look at his, look at his gig. Uh, I know. They're tag teaming. Joe, so yeah. you got some competition now. You better do something about that. Right. Holy smokes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, by the way, anyone have any questions about anything? I know we're just hanging around having fun over here, but you know, no, we're having way too much fun. Let's let's oh, keep yeah. the spotlight on you. That's well, right. Joe's in the yeah. house. Uh, I'm gonna turn the lights <laughs> dark. Man, oh man. Hey Joe, by the way, if if you don't meet the demands by Monday at 5 30, I don't want to follow. I also want your cold call list too. I'm going after it all. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. I already talked to one. It's got to do one more. <laughs> we'll Sounds like an excuse to me. No excuse. Right. It's a busy, busy day. 
very yeah, real busy. Old, so you make excuses. That's what somebody to make said. Money. Oh no, I was we were doing deals. Did a property Ooh. today. I'm gonna hopefully I gotta call one more for tonight. And then um see, I gotta just gotta do a couple of follow-ups real quick. What do you say about Joe? Joe, you have to you host. I'm sorry I have to go. I have some uh some work I have to get done and send emails back on uh, okay. some free stuff. So, thanks, Joe. Thank you. All right, Joe. Take care. I gotta I'll give you too. a call tomorrow, Joe. I gotta go too. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna head out. Thanks, guys, funny. so much. Appreciate the info. Yeah. Thanks for joining, everybody. Yeah. Thank you. So Tammy, it is right. Tammy, Tammy yes. Name? Yep. Interesting background. Is it? I'm, I'm it's the Victoria thinking. and Albert Library Art Museum in London, England. Very cool. I like your background. Thanks. I'm in my brother-in-law's workshop. Oh, <laughs> yay! Tools and parts. <laughs> tools and parts. Let's go. <laughs> yeah. mm -hmm. So, but. I, I tore down and rebuilt a kitchen when I was in my teens with my father. So okay. it's always fun to see tools and parts and power tools and stuff to make things do other things. <laughs> mm -hmm. Nice. Well, we're glad you joined us tonight. We definitely Thanks. Had some good input. And Jay, I know you've been on before, but we're glad you joined too. Are you guys going to the picnic? Are you? Yeah. Yeah. Right. We'll go to the picnic. Definitely. Okay. Not sure yet. Okay. Depends on everything else going on. All right. Well, we hope to see you there. It's it's one thing that if you got something else going on, we understand, but it's it'll be like the biggest networking event of the year in real estate, I will say. Mm -hmm. you know, there'll be that many people there. Plus, we're still recording, aren't we, Andy, or do we stop recording? Is that your way of saying you would like me to stop recording? Well, I want you, you can announce who's going to be there. I don't know if you still want to do it recording or not. So. Well, you're okay. kind of all right hold please yep. do, do, do. where is it